I need it now. You know, I've been teaching you on a temptation uh, since February. We are hopeful, we are trusting God that we are going to end the teaching on uh, temptation in the month of May. Now, today is uh, 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 Easter Sunday. We are still going to continue. I told you, I took one part uh, last week Sunday. We are taking the conclusion this Sunday. But look at Jesus. The Jesus we are celebrating today was also tempted like you, were, you, are, you are facing temptation. The way you are facing temptation now, he was also tempted. Now, and I've told you, don't sit down yet. The devil does not have new tricks. What he does is to do what? Modernize his same old tricks to make sure you deny the faith. Now, how was Jesus tempted? In Genesis, sorry, I said Genesis. In Matthew 26, when he was, he went to the place of prayer. The Bible says he saw in a vision what he was to go through. And he said, Lord, if it is possible, ah, this fear came. If it is possible, let this cup pass me over. If that cup had passed over him, there wouldn't have been Easter today. But he said, no, Lord, no, Lord, not my will, but let your will be done. And I've told you, you are going to sit down very soon, just hold on. I've told you that every single time you go against the will of God, you fall into temptation. And I've told you that temptation is when the devil makes sin so attractive so that you will commit it. And every single time you commit sin, you fall into temptation and out of the grace of God. Now, last week Sunday, before you say it, I told us, we're looking at when man fall into temptation. That when men fall into temptation, uh, what will they stand to lose? I told you that when you fall into temptation, nothing may happen physically at first, but the presence of God will depart. The spirit of God will depart from that person's life. Now that person will now become empty. And I told us last week Sunday, that there are three reasons why the Holy Ghost is inside of you. I said, number one, the Holy Ghost is inside of you in order to make you an extraordinary human. That's why the Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That's why evil arrows cannot reach you because of the Holy Ghost in you. Jesus is not inside you. Where is Jesus right now? Jesus is seated at the right hand of God. What is he doing? Making intercession for us. Who is inside of you? The Holy Spirit. Now, the Holy Spirit in you is what makes you powerful. I told you number two, the second reason why the Holy Ghost is inside of you. Remember, I said the Holy Ghost is inside of you because the Holy Spirit is the seal of God's ownership on us. So, it is the Holy Ghost in us that makes us, that's God's seal of authority on us. If you see my children, you will know that this one is Afolabi's blood. The Holy Ghost in us is what makes us belong to God. Did you get it? I said it last week. And the third one I told us, I said, the Holy Ghost in us is what makes us manifest the fruit of the Spirit and the gift of the Spirit. We said it last week, Sunday. Now, today, you know what I want to teach you? When you fall into temptation, I said, the Spirit of God will depart. Yes, like I said. What are the other things that will happen to a Christian that falls into temptation? Now, that's why we are starting on this note that Jesus, our Lord, was tempted yet was without sin. Which means that if Jesus did not fall, you should not fall. Say, I will not fall. I can hear, I can hear you. Say it boldly. I will not fall into whatsoever temptation the wicked is setting for me. Say it like you understand it. I will not fall in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say, I will not fall into whatsoever temptation the devil is set. So the devil, listen, the devil will set temptation for you at various angles. Please, maintain your stand. Are you hearing me? Maintain your stand and make it to the end. I'm a Christian. I always say, I'm a Christian. I'm born again. Christianity is not a religion. I told them at the Alebu Church this morning. Christianity is a relationship with God born out of an encounter with God. Please have your seats this morning. As the Lord will be speaking to us. Welcome somebody both to your right and to your left. Tell him or her you're welcome to church. Happy Easter today. We celebrate the, the, the resurrection of Jesus together. I'm glad. Tell him I'm glad to see you. So I'm glad to see the twins today. It's been long I've seen them. God bless you. 
I saw them as we were giving the off their offering. Hallelujah. So let's go into the world that we have today. Easter is not just a celebration. No? Thank God. If you have bought chicken, go and kill your chicken. But if you are not born again and you are celebrating Easter, Easter can become a judgment to you. Because Easter is a time to reflect on one thing. And what is that? The love of God. That how can God so much love us that he decided to sacrifice his only son for us to be redeemed from bondage. If there's anyone you should serve, is that God? Is that same God? I was asking one man. He believes so much in charms. only pastor who see be accidents by first shelle. Ulukakonwa lowo un egbe ni one pe to mati kigbe egbe o olo ma egbe un olo wo amo bi to le egbe un lo. Olo le egbe un ko so un sinu se nu kini un beni. Olo le egbe un ko so un si si titi abisi kanga oni bo osha ma egbe un kuro ni bi to un wa mo ba wo mo ni ah Jesus te mi sin o da mi loju igba to lo ki lo so o le mi fe lo pe si aye si le in my father's house there are many mansions but I go to prepare a place among the mansions he went to prepare a place my God is not the one that will just carry me and throw me at the mouth of the lion no 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 no. I serve a God that loves me that's why if you are here you are not yet born again you don't love him because if so if God should love you that much you should not love him this less the Lord will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. So our study character this morning is Adam and Eve. Genesis chapter 3, 7 and 8. And the eyes of them both were opened. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Verse 8. And they heard the voice of God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Now look at, this is another raw example of people that fell into temptation. Another raw example. I will show you five things that a Christian that backslide, any to fijesusile, to backslide, five things that happens in their life. We are going to see it from the life of these people today. Now they were working perfectly fine before now. Let me read my notes. Hallelujah. In the Garden of Eden, when man ate the forbidden fruit, the first thing that, that man felt was shame because he suddenly realized that he was naked. This was because the presence of God Almighty left. Beloved, when a believer falls into temptation, it is the presence of the Lord Almighty that will depart from him. Now that's why you must not allow sin. When a Christian falls into sin, listen, the presence, it may look as if nothing happened. I've seen people say to me, Pastor, listen, I am committing sin and I'm still prophesying. It doesn't mean, I told us last week, God, when he gives you a gift, he does not take the gift back. That's one thing with God. He won't take the gift because you backslide. The gift will still be there, but the presence of God is what departs from the life of the person. That's why you look at the life of Adam and Eve. The moment the presence of God left, what happened? They discovered that they were naked. Now, what does that mean? They discovered they were empty. Because the presence of God, that was the glory of God upon their life, was no longer there. Don't allow sin this season. Make up your mind that you will defend this faith that you have received. I must tell you this truth. Our faith will be tested. Our faith will be tempted with all manners of issues. But how do you know you are a Christian? You are a Christian when you make up your mind to stand in faith, irrespective of what you are facing. When they led us in praise, look at what the, uh, the sister was singing. You are the most high. You are the most. God cannot always do the things that will please us all the time. Imagine you are sick. You go to the hospital. Well, the doctor says, oh, because I don't want you to cry, I will not give you injection. Injection may look painful, but it's for healing. See, I will not fall. Now, when men fall, the presence of God departs. 
So we are going to see the first thing that will happen. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 16. 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 14. I read, but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. Can you see Saul's experience? When he fell into temptation, the spirit of God left him. The spirit of God departed from Saul. And an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Imagine what happened to Adam and Eve. Even the moment the spirit of God left them. Listen, the spirit left them. And what is the first sign that will happen when the spirit of God leaves? We'll look at something here now. You notice, if you go back to that Genesis, you will see that in that Genesis 3, after man and the woman ate the fruit and fell, we didn't hear anything apart from God's curse about the serpent anymore. Did we hear that the serpent talk again? No. Instantly, the serpent changed its location. Hear me. The serpent moved from the garden into Edom and Eve. When the spirits of God depart from the life of a Christian, an evil spirit takes over. That's why I keep telling us that you cannot be without a spirit. It's either you have the spirit of God or the spirit of the devil. You cannot be without any of the two. Now, and that's exactly what happened in the life of Saul. In that first Samuel we read. Then me alone she dag be the phone by and me she won't know a year. So if a Christian falls into sin, falls into temptation, and the spirit of God departs from his life, hear me, church, the spirit of the devil will instantly come in. Permits me to tell you that there are so many people in church that the spirit of Satan is living inside of them. An evil spirit cannot live inside a good Christian. A Christian that is standing in faith. That's why at times when I see some of our people behaving funny, it doesn't move me. I mean, it should be one word. When you see them behaving for you, you will know that this person is not the same person, you know, that used to serve God willingly. This is not the same person that is always saying, I'm ready to sacrifice for God. Something has happened. That's why you see that the moment Adam and Eve heard that God was coming, what did they do? They went to hide because the serpent has moved from the garden and has entered into them. God, whose presence they used to enjoy before, now become God whose presence they wanted to hide from. Please take note of this. We no longer had anything from the serpent. The reason is because he shifted base from the garden to the inner sanctuary of both the man and the woman. Beloved, whenever, wherever the devil finds sin, hear me, he finds an entry point. Wherever the devil finds sin, he finds an entry point. Sin is the door. That the devil passes through to gain entry into people's life. What is the devil's door into anybody's life? It is sin. If the devil wants to enter your life, he creates an opportunity for you to commit sin. He won't push you to sin. No. He will only create the opportunity for you to commit that sin. Once you commit it, he has found the door. And once he enters, beloved, trouble begins. You know, the spirit of God has left. It now means that you belong to the devil. here. I didn't hear your voice. Shagada. This is why you should understand that anytime you fall into temptation, you open the door of your life for the devil to come in. Look at Genesis chapter 4 verse 7. God was speaking directly to Abel. He said you, you will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, ah, Abel, Abel, then watch out. Sin is crouching at the door. He got to control you. But you must master it. Abel. This 20 something years of being a pastor. I've seen so many things. You know, you hear some Christians talk at times. From what spirit did you speak? The serpent has entered. That's why I watch it. The Bible says, and when that spirit entered into Saul, he started to torment his life. Don't fall into temptation. What's the second thing that we have? I'll tell you five before we close. Number two, you will notice from this our anchor that the moment man ate the fruit, something was removed from his mind and made him realize he was naked 
are needed covering. Listen, when the spirit of God departs from a believer, another thing you will notice is that he saw a desire for natural things of this world will become very high. How do you know a, 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 a backsliding Christian? Hello? The kind of a Christian that you see that before he's not bothered whether he has eaten or not. He is always praising God for what God has given to him. But the moment he backslides, don't forget the spirit of God has come. Now, what's number one? The spirit of the devil has come in. What's number two? You now begin to notice hunger for worldliness. This hunger for the things of the world we know we will be so high that he won't care what God is saying about his choices. An officer came to see me here. We're now talking. We're talking about Nigeria. It's a special force officer among those sent to uh, supervise the election. And he now said, Pastor, if you have opportunity, you better leave this country. And I smiled. He said, do you have people abroad? I said, I have people abroad. He said, you better leave this country. Pack your family and leave. I said, but sir, I have a calling. I have an assignment in Nigeria. And I heard God clearly. God said, he's sending me here. You know what the man did? He kept quiet at first. He took his coke, he took his snacks. He said, if I tell you the trouble that is coming on Nigeria, you will sell this church. Carry your family and run away and go and do your church in another place. He didn't understand. Because the Bible says to them who are perishing, the things of the spirit is like foolishness. Now, if I have backslidden, if the Spirit of God has departed from my life, do you think I'll, I'll be here? I won't be here. I'll be thinking like Lot. You know, when Lot stood with Abraham, Abraham said, choose anywhere. And if you go to the left, I'll go to the right. The Bible says he looked at Sodom and Gomorrah. It looked like a well-watered garden. Backsliding Christians don't judge things by spiritual sight anymore. Hunger for natural things. Hunger for natural things. Ah, 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 lasho, ah, lasho. Oh, Lord, I'm going to say, ah, lasho, ah, lasho, ah, lasho. When you are on fire for God, you won't bother whether you don't have clothes, you come to church. But when your fire is dying, that's when you say, ah, sure, you know, last week, you know, more than three weeks ago, ah, ah, me, Lord, church, Lenny, see, my Lord, church, ah, sure, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Ah, pastor, eh, hey, understand, eh, hey, understand. But a koni money, only koni mo wo wo wo. Me ni lo church, tima lo church. Oju mama timi. But a who is looking at your shoe? You know why you started saying it? That is one shoe you have. The presence of God has left. Adam was naked before he didn't know. His joy for God did not allow him to know. When you are backslidden, that's when you be saying, ah, ah, eh, eh. I don't think I can go. Who let me go? I'm tired today. Ah. I'm tired today. I don't think. And this is you that say you are tired. You didn't come to church. You begin to wash clothes. On that same Sunday. That you are tired. It's a clear sign. It's telling you something. The spirit of God is going. They get to another point again. Why will everybody be standing up and going out for offering? I will not go out for offering. Ah, I don't think I will go. There's no offering I can give in church today. Me love offering. Me love offering. Me okay, my Lord church. Can you see? Adam. Said, I discover I'm naked. The things you were not discovering before, you begin to discover. Once the spirit of God lives. Some of you don't know that the, the presence of the Holy Ghost in your heart is the reason why you don't even know that you are going through challenges. You are going through something but you don't know. And you are still in, on fire for God. It's because there is a spirit of God bubbling in your heart. But to bachi lo, wari. God asked Adam, Adam, where are you? Only Agbo, Oluwa, Oluwa, Agbo, Winyi, Tembo, Oru, Irue, Seyin, Agbo, Awari, Kwe, Ayi, Ho, Ho, Lawa. Ah, Le, Yoju, Olorun, To, Dai. Signs of backsliding. That's why you have to be careful. Hear me, it does not take long for a Christian to miss it. That's why, take note of these signs. God was asking, Adam, where are you? Some of you here now, God is asking you, where are you? 
I invited the pastor to, to a meeting. I said, Pastor, it's a minister's conference. Your life will be blessed. You know what the pastor said? He said, Pastor Prince, okay, I will come. I looked for him at the conference. I didn't see him. So the next time I met him, Pastor Ewani, he said, hey, you know I've used cars before. If we close the conference and everybody's going in their car, I will feel bad. So that's why I decided not to come because I will be ashamed. Signs of backsliding. I pray for everybody hearing me right now. May your fire for God begin to burn with high dimension in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, yeah. I didn't hear your voice, so. Hallelujah. Hunger. Hunger for the things of the earth. Hunger for the things of the earth will become very high to the point that such a Christian will be feeling so ashamed of himself because of the natural things he doesn't have. He'll begin to feel ashamed. I won't go to church. I won't go to church. Some people have married before me. They have married ahead of me. Or before me, uh, after me. They've given back to children. I am still waiting for my own. Ah, me lelo. Mutu lelo joko ti won. Ah, eh, no, I won't go to church. I won't sing with the choir today. Ah, in fact, some people that just came, they bought cars. Look at me, I will trek from my house and come and sing. Ah, I am ashamed. Hunger for worldliness. Worldly spirit will begin to come in. Ah, I won't go. I won't go. I can't stay. Everybody has gotten married. It's like, it's a lie. See, can I tell you this truth? This challenge has been there before. But because your fire is going down, that's why you begin to reason in the flesh. Face your temptation. Conquer it. I can assure you, God has the best for you. May you get to the best that God has for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I heard you, a voice, Lord. I discovered I was naked and I hid myself. Let's go on. Worldliness and uncontrolled hunger for the things of this world are one of the signs that reveals who a backslider is. Worldliness and uncontrolled uh, hunger for the things of this world are the signs. Man was, so man was so desperate about his nakedness to the point that he hid from the call of his maker. Can you imagine? So desperate. So desperate about his nakedness. He now hid. Excuse me. What is that thing? That you are so desperate about that is now affecting your relationship with God. Look up, everybody. Can I tell you this truth? Eh? Listen, look up. That we are serving God is our advantage. Oh. It's a privilege to us, not to God. Oh. You know what God said in His word? He said, If my people will not praise me, uh -uh, what will I do? I will raise up stones. Stones will be praising. I was reading history about uh, uh, Baba, Baba Jide of CAC, the late Baba Jide of CAC. They said the gift that God gave him in his lifetime was gift to recognize the, sing, the voices of trees and the voices of birds. They said one day he went out and he had one bird was crying. Oh, oh. The bird was crying. And he said, eh. They said, what happened? They said, who just gave back? The Baba said, who just gave back to a child here? They said, they are the other house. Ah. The bird is crying. Ah, ah. They don't pay attention. He said the bird was he's saying something. They said, what is he saying? He said the bird is saying, I came from heaven to stay with this family, thinking that it's a peaceful family. But I came into their family. They've been fighting ever since I came. I can't stay here. I want to go back to where I came from. They said as he finished prophesying, people were saying, before 12 o'clock, the child died. It shows you that birds can sing the song that you refuse to sing. It shows you that stones can, can, can serve the God you refuse to serve. Don't let your pursuit, your pursuit for the things of the world to take the place of your commitment to God. If you allow it, it's a clear sign that something is wrong somewhere. See her here. You can do better now. I gave an example in at, at, at 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 10. Look at Paul's experience. Paul said, Demas 
has departed, has deserted me, sorry. Demas has deserted me because he loved the things of this world and has gone to Thessalonia. Christians has gone to Galatia and Titus had gone to Damalat. Now, but look at Demas, an apostle, has deserted me because of what? The love of the things of, of this world. Don't forget, number one, if you fall into temptation, the Spirit of God will leave. We saw, saw that last week. When the Spirit of God leaves, what's the one of today? The Spirit of the devil will come in. When the Spirit of the devil comes in, you go to number two, the person will be advancing. His hunger for the things of this world will become so high. You will be shocked, beloved. You will see Christian going to bow down to have a list. Baba, Baba, Kilama Ashe, Kilerupa Leche, Kokun Leche, Christian. A once tongue speaking Christian. Why? The spirit of God has left. Worldliness has come in. Let's look at number three. The third thing that will now happen to that Christian. Number three. Number three. You will notice. Sorry. You will notice that man was immediately sent out of the garden of comfort. The garden that God made for him. It shows us that when you open your eyes and fall into temptation, you will lose out in the peculiar grace of God you were enjoying. Hmm. Let me say that one again. It shows us that when you open your eyes and fall into temptation, you will lose out in the peculiar grace of God that you were enjoying. Look up, everybody. You are finished writing. Every one of us have peculiar grace. Like me now. My peculiar grace is favor. I am liked. People will just arise to render me help and favor. Know where I enter. Even when I get to some churches... The messages that some people have preached. When I preach the same message, they will say, we've never had it before, pastor. We've never had it before like this, pastor. We love your message. We love your message. It's a peculiar grace. Every one of us have peculiar grace that we're enjoying. You know the third thing that we lose when you fall into temptation? That peculiar grace, we live. You know what it means to live life without grace? May you not know it. Life without grace is life that is full of difficulty. It means you will have to sweat. You will have to pay full price to get everything you want. Man was driven out of the garden of comfort that he was enjoying. In that garden of Eden, everything grew on its own. This points to grace. But outside the garden, man had to sweat. Man had to work so hard to make things work. Beloved, when God's presence leaves a person, he lives with the grace as well. And life and the life of such a man will become so difficult. Can we look at an example in the life of Samson? You know, Samson, when he fell to Delilah's tricks, and Delilah said, Samson, 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 did they, did they stand up, stand up. The Philistines are here, stand up. Samson, Samson said, I will arise. He thought it was like that. I will shake my body. I will go out and defeat them. The Bible says, as he stood up, they just grabbed his hand. Ah, grace has left. May the grace of God not leave you. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. amen. I said, may the grace of God not leave you. Amen. When grace leaves, difficulty, loku. When grace leaves, hardship is the next thing. Something was caught like a chicken. He was shocked. They tie him. They remove his eyes. And they made him to be a servant. To be grinding meal for them. He was pushing the thing. And they were, he was grinding. Something, did, eh? Something that, that 1,000 men could not face him. He, yeah, he carried the gate of a whole city. He, he removed it with the pillars. Carried it upon his shoulders. Climbed a mountain. That Samson now became somebody they held. Has grace not left some of you? 
Why is life extremely difficult like this? Man began to plant. Man. Now, after man came out of the garden, he planted and there was thorns. A goon. Man started to swear. What kind of life is this? That's the tough thing that happens when the Spirit of God lives. And when you live outside grace, you begin to live on calculations. There won't be any addition apart from anything you can calculate for yourself. People that are not under grace, they don't enjoy fever. Because Let's look at number four. Sagada basking the nation. Are you learning something? I thought I didn't hear your voice. Number four. I also noticed this about backsliders. They nurse a kind of fear of unknown that, 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 that makes them want to seek for somebody that will prophesy to them at all costs. I noticed this one too. Chara on top of backslide. Eru kaman ba won. Won ama wen tu ma so so tele. Mommy Clary. Daddy Clary. Tani company Esa, Esma, mama lala kon pa. Clary sa. Clary ma. Now look up everybody. <laughs> if you have finished writing. I have three biological children. Several spiritual because I need to be clar clarifying it. One of my sons got angry when he told me, said he's my son. I said, I'm not your son. I'm not your father. I have three biological children. Now, many years ago, he got offended. So, now I understand. I have three biological children, several spiritual children. Look up. Now, look at my three biological children as they are. Let them now be saying, I don't know what daddy is saying. Who can tell me what daddy is saying? Let somebody from outside now say, any other your daddy sent me to you and she's afraid and she still slept in that in this in the same house with daddy now if it is like that it means that our relationship has broken hello did you hear me i noticed this about backsliders they are the ones that always listen to prophets yeah they are the ones that when somebody say i got a vision they are the ones that are quickly ready to do I went to preach somewhere one day and where I sat, I did morning devotion. God didn't tell me anything at home. I left home. I got, after the preaching, the pastor was just, he said, he should round up the prayer. He stood up. He was uh, speaking in tongues, spoke in tongues, spoke in tongues, spoke in tongues. He said, toss it the Lord. Pastor Prince, with God said, I should tell you. Ah, immediately, back, but God said, I should tell you. Malati, peking, tie, bobo, yang, kanti, olon, ti, sofu, me. Lo, fe, confirm. God said, you should go into three nights of praises. Do VG for three days. Where he was speaking, I said, oh Lord, did you send him? I had, I don't know where he got what he's telling you from. You know, instantly I concluded in my mind, it's not for me. But you, do you know if my relationship with God is not cordial? I may decide to go into three nights vigil when my health is not in line. Some of you, some of you don't know that some Christians die because they follow wrong instruction. You didn't hear me. Ah, shagada Okay, okay, look up, look up. I will tell you one that is close. But they may be watching me, so I don't want to say it. These are spiritual fathers. They invited me. I got to this office. I knelt down. I said, what is this? Sir, could 
I went to Japa Koja I want time to come in ba. Ele to luwa wa ran awon daddy wa pe ke nlo biri biri oju me. Che ki ise ogbon satani lati gi emi mi kuru. You didn't hear me. Oh. Instantly without delay. Yes sir, mo gbo sir. Yes sir, mo gbo sir. Ni mo yin danu. You now say ah ah. Mo ri omo kunrin kan ni waju yin. Mo ba woju won. But I don't know what you psychology. No, 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 one of our daughters in church was telling us three Sundays ago or two Sundays ago after her Thanksgiving. He said, Daddy, wa, thank God for this kind of church. Thank God for this kind of church. In fact, we want to shop. We want to shop. We want to shop. But we want to shop. 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 We want Olohun ti je kan la won ni daddy won ti ta shop bi en to si ra ni ki n kuro ko su to pari ah oni o le ma je lele le olorun so o le ma je lele it is dangerous to build hearing god on other people that's why your relationship with god must be cordial Now, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Shagada Basile. Lebo Satayada. Listen, don't forget, I notice this about backsliders that they nurse a kind of fear. You know what makes them to be looking for the voice of God from every source? There's this fear they have. In, inner, inner fear that something bad could happen to them. So they will be looking for somebody that will assure them that their father is happy with them. She could say, she saw me. For Samuel 28, 5 to 7. For Samuel 28, 5 to 7. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, what happened? I didn't hear you. Let's read. He was afraid. And his heart greatly trembled. Verse 6. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did what? Answered him not. Why will God not answer? Because his relationship with God had broken. Don't forget, it was in chapter 16 that the Spirit of God left him. What is the evidence that your relationship with God is intact? You will be hearing him. But he will be speaking to you. But as at this time, Saul was afraid. And when he was afraid, Lord, Lord, he didn't hear anything. And Saul, when he inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by hearing, nor even by prophets. Now look at verse 7. Because of that fear is still there. I need to hear a divine voice. I need to hear a divine voice. Then Saul, then said Saul unto the servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. Let's move on. Let's move on. Shagada Base. Move on, move on, move on. I don't have all the time. And Saul disguised himself and put on another remnant. And he went, and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. Can you imagine the voice that he would have been hearing inside this room if he had been in connection with God? He had to travel to go and find the voice. Do you know that there are children of God that travel from here? They say, I want law. Are you okay? I want to love my country. You want we? Lati bada. Mwa travel lo e kiti. 
Oh, one who are to your bonny coro yarama. You may not like my face, but hear me. I'm teaching you my practical experience. I'm born again. Me, I'm a child of God. God speaks to me. He speaks to my wife. And we are training our children to hear God. That's why I'm also training. You are part of our children that we are training. You don't need to travel to a region. You don't need to travel to some people say, okay, I can't even travel. We are to travel. I just travel. I just travel. Korea. I want to do Ah ah. Look at me. Look up. Look up. Look up. See me, Pastor. Please. I've never been to redemption camp before in my life. I have never. Uh -huh. Thank you, man. Some people even travel to Jerusalem. Jerusalem is just the birthplace of Jesus. If you are going for to Jerusalem, you are going for tourism. Sightseeing, yes. Hello, me not baptized, maybe. I did Jerusalem. I went to baptism. She. I did Hashem Badan. Correct. Or do John Adriani? The matter about it's wrong. People travel. I've, there are some places people go to. I've never been there before. And God is speaking to me clear, clear. I'm not saying don't go to a redemption camp. You can go. If I go to camp, I want to go and see what God is doing. So that I can catch more fire to come and do more. But I'm not going to camp because I want to go and hear what God wants to tell me. God can tell me in my room. I've not backslidden. See, I hear now. We saw one example in our church at a level today. Let me try to see if I can remember that scripture. Acts chapter, is it chapter 9? Acts chapter 9. Show me Acts chapter 9. Engineer, give me that scripture. We study it. Ananias. Let me know whether you are a student. <laughs> under, point, under point 2. I think B or C. Acts 9 what? Acts 9, 10. Acts 9 10. You are a student. Look at this. Let's read together after the count of three. One, two, and three. And there was... Wait, look up. Let's go again. One, two, three. And there was a certain word. Now wait. Who is a disciple? Thank you. God bless you. Is a, is a disciple a minister? So which means a disciple is a follower of Christ. Who are you? I didn't hear you now. Now, look at this. And there was a certain disciple in Damascus named Ananias. And to him said the Lord. God spoke to him in a vision. Ananias, he's not a pastor. Stop thinking it is only pastors that can see vision. And when you begin to see vision, you conclude God has called me. Along to me, God has called me. It's a lie. Ananias was not a pastor. He was not part of the apostles. But I will not I will not Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Read on. I'm going to rush with time. And the Lord said unto him, Arise, go into the street, into the street, which is called what? Straight. What do I call us? Okay. Wo Losi o kebola ni koye ijo. Ki she pastor lori o omo ijo ni. And enquire the house of Judas for one man called Saul. To ba de koye ijo house number 4. Be re fun ile enikan tan pe in Judas. O la le ju kan Saul loruko e. Esa te eyan ba wo ru ile yin to so ru ran yi to de ri be. Ko ni e de liberty. Te ba ti de liberty e wo ogun dipe street. He lay to Cain straight. He was not laying here. He be the key, Madam George. For me, I am God. Kill him also. Ah, he is not new. He is not new. He just come here to get away from you, Abi. But all on what way? Disciple last on the Bible. I see Paris. What to share? He is not going to pass. Let's read on. Let's read on. And the Lord said, "Okay, arise. He has two with this. Next verse. Now, okay, he wait. He said, Judah." For one man consult of Tarsus. For behold, he prayed. Allah to saw the in the soul in she long war. Oh, bad, do that long war. Can you hear the wali koni? Fumida. Unjera is long war. Okay, the one little yake and let's say rice the fun. Kill a man she ha. But to take party and he and has seen in a vision a man named Ananias coming and putting his hands on him. That he might receive his sight. 
fun mi ti mo nso yi o la 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 le anomo mi pe mo nbo ah ki de ko de je ki fun mi lo falaji yin la ro ki mo mi mararun ara kunrin kan to ma wole to de wa gbadura fun mi e fe le ma bo eniyan bo se mo ki leyin ojo isele yi a pada gbo uruko man yi ninu bible mo tori pe ohun gan ohun gan o je ki ebun yen ko si ohun gan lona to ba je lo mi ni ati tori ebun yin a lo da so sile because bo se wole tori pe ah ah are you the soul praying afoju de ni o gbo wole bi 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 si ni ko olun ni oluwa ni ko se bo se gba wole ba oju e kan la to ba je nigeria nsin ni you hear eye opening evangelical church yes Or if they want to make it heat very well, they will say, "The eyes of Saul was open." Bible ministry, so that you say, "Go and who is Saul?" That's the man, and they will put the picture on the banner. It is me and Anias. We have several churches today of people that were not sent. That's why they are watering this work. Awati olorono aki torobara. Abi mo wa le yin ri kin le bi npa mi. Ke jo e sanu mi mi o ti je un, e jo e sanu mi o mo fe change moto mi o. Like somebody was one of our friends was telling us, "Ah, your car break down. Call one of the members now. Tell them to buy car for you. Shan won't pay wa ni." They are not the one that called us. And hello, hello. Lara won want to tell wa nu le yin e. E mi Olorun ni un fi se. Te ba de gbe le. E ri idakeji ipe Olorun lori aye mi. Baba lo sobe. God forbid. When God calls a man, he proves it. Follow me, follow me, follow me. I'm here. And see, ah, tu pa de agbope, ananias tu lo jeshe fe lo mi o. Abo jeshe fe lo mi tu wa anu baibu. No, enti wong ron si o. He delivered the message to Saul and came back home quietly. But you know what I'm pointing at? Is that Ananias was not a pastor. Ananias was just an ordinary disciple like me and you. Why do you now say it is only pastors that we hear God? At times when people come to me, sir, uh, I don't know whether I should marry Kunle, David, or, or Raymond. Please help me to pray. I will just laugh and laugh. You say, why are you laughing? I don't pray such prayer. The God that is your father is my father too. Let me teach you how to hear God. I will now teach them to go and pray and know how to hear God. By the, and not only that, there are certain things you should look at in the person before you say yes. I told one of our sisters, if the brother cannot defend you before his parents, don't marry him. The parents say, I, we, you, we can, she, he can he, our son will not marry you and he too is dancing to his parents. He will betray you on the way if you force yourself on him. Any love that is lovable, you defend. Let's come back to our teaching. So, what do I notice about backsliding Christians? Because they no longer hear God. They want a divine message. They are looking for every dick and hurry. Anybody that will just tell them, toss it the Lord. Someone that will tell them they got a dream about them. Somebody that will tell them they saw a vision. Somebody that... I was at home one day, one of our fathers in the faith, one of those that discipled me when I was coming up in the Lord, just called me, hello, Pastor Prince, where are you? I said, I'm in the office, sir. He said, I got a dream about you. I saw that you died. I'm, you died before you were 40. Pastor Preo, I said, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I didn't know that that year I was already 41 because I didn't see my birth certificate. It was after my father's death I saw my birth certificate. What my mother told me is different from what I saw. But I didn't even pray when the pastor told me. You know why I didn't pray? God didn't tell me that I would die. Say here. Yeah. That's why you have to develop your relationship with God. So that the devils will not begin, continue to deceive you. People are going around now. And I want you to know that it's even the, the sign of the end time. People are going around now. Declaring thoughts here at the Lord when God has not sent them. The last one. Beloved, number five. 
the last thing I notice about backsliders is that the devil will always try to prevent them from total repentance so that he can shorten their lives and take them to hell. So you know what he will plant in them? He plants the spirit of pride in them. The last thing I notice about backsliders is that the devil always tries to prevent them from total repentance so that they can, he can shorten their lives and take them to hell. So at this stage, what does he do? He plants pride. Our fear, me, Igbira Gassino, come on. In a woman came, he want to warn me, Pano. On my di Koshe Basoro, Koshe Bawi. Get the buffet balance or want to put up attitude, rude attitude. What do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? Ah, that's the last stage. Any backslider that gets to that stage, death is the next. Make yourself approachable. That's why we teach you that you must have spiritual parents. Who is your spiritual father? Who is your spiritual mother? And I've taught you here before. I told you, if you choose a person to be your spiritual parent, let them know that you are my father. You are my, let them know that they are responsible. They have area of responsibility in your life. So that when they see things, they can call you. I, I noticed that you don't used to do like this before. You know, like I told you last week Sunday, how do you know a backslider? The gifts will remain, but the fruits will begin to fade. So when you notice changes in their character, you know that these ones are going. These ones are going. But you know, final stage, you don't want to listen. So when your spiritual parent now comes and says, ah, Brother Jerry, this one that you plate your hair and put earring, when did you become a sister? You now look at your, your, your so-called spiritual father and say, ah, kill on shame. I wouldn't tie in. Ah! He found him born here. Yeah, I'm telling you. Maybe your spiritual father looks at you and says, who is that lady? <laughs> She's just my friend. Ah, see, Put yourself in such a way that you can be helped. Do you get what I'm saying? That if your spiritual parents, let them know that, you're, that you, you, you have chosen them. And let them know that they have a responsibility. They can ask questions. That I know who is that, I've asked you before that time now. Who is that engineer that is, that time you were starting that business? Uh, I think you remember I asked you. <laughs> it's true. Business partner, I mean, okay. And the reason why I had to say that is because she submitted herself. But some of you, you don't know that you are going. And you now put up that nature after service, just carry back. Group, group, group. Me, if anybody sorrow, the devil that will destroy anyone will first succeed. To isolate that one. Once you are isolated, you are on the way to destruction. Just carry your Bible. Don't, don't talk to anybody. I'm on my own. Don't live your life like that. How many partners did Samson have? He didn't have anybody. Answer me now. Did that Samson have anybody? No partner. He was working all alone. So when Samson was going to sleep in the house of a prostitute in the night, there was nobody to question him. Ask my wife, as I came here now, what did I say? I asked you of one of our leaders. Did he come to first service? He said no. Instantly, I've made up, after the service, they will come and tell me where he went to on a Sunday morning. One of us came and said, sir, last week Sunday, sir, I'll be clocking so, so, and so year this year. I want to celebrate a birthday. And I told him, I said, see, I've told you I will, there's no birthday you celebrate that I will come. Not for death or for anything. Until you go and finish your house. If you don't finish it, if you like, cook, cook the whole, finish cooking cow, go and cook angels. I won't come there. Not for death or anything. It's okay. What if I finish the house? Don't leave there. I say finish it. Let us see. 
you must be responsible to some. You must somebody you are accountable to. Don't let that. Devil, don't feel that it's after that. Is it my life? This it's not our life truly. Shall you want it? I eat you call. When the trouble begins, the only part that will affect the pastor is the calling. Hello, sir, pray for me. Hello, sir, pray for me. Hello, sir, pray for me. And if you pray for me, it's too much, I'll be off my phone. Yeah, yes. Because I'll tell you, I've cancer, you refuse. Don't get to that stage. Don't put up a mind your business attitude towards your senior ministers, your pastors, your fathers. Know that they are your spiritual people. Or you don't know that there's parent, spirit, uh, parenting is spiritual too. Go to Ephesians chapter. Uh, Ephesians 6 1. Ephesians 6 1. Ephesians 6 1. <laughs> okay, that is attitude too. Oh God. I don't know my Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. I'm only joking. We'll go over now. Let's read. We'll teach this scripture very well next week Sunday. Expanded level next week Sunday. One, two, and let's go. Children. You are not talking. She to rise to fair to to lay on the Oh yeah, Kalung, okay. One, two, and let's go. Now, show me verse 2. Show me verse 2. Let's go. Go back to verse 1. Go back to verse 1. Oh yeah, let's go. Now, is it not different from each other? The second one says, honor your father and mother. Biological parents. This one says, verse 1, verse 1. Obey your parents in the Lord. Which means in God, you have to have parents. Who is your spiritual father? Who is your spiritual mother? It is the role of your spiritual father and mother to watch over you spiritually. And if you don't make yourself show, if you don't show them that you have taken them, they will be afraid to come into your case. You know, some people cannot just come in. So it not be as if they are intruding. It's just like, I don't know you. I'm looking for faces that I, didn't, I don't know here. Let me just say, you come. Who is that girl following you? I know you first look at me and say, I was your own. Abby? But if I know, I know her very well. I know that her husband is in America. If I suddenly begin to see strange things, I will call her Christiana. I won't call her Evangelist Christiana. I won't call her Sister Christiana. She was born again, my aunt. Christiana. I know she will say, Sir. Bani Bobo, do do yeah. Abby? I will ask. Hey, if you say, uh, they know me here. All of them know. One of our daughters did the same. I sent for the guy. Mori in lay your money. Chicos of him going to marry me. Uh, uh, agent business no 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 chat phone business more of my young If the guy was seated in church here, my young way else of But me that I look at that, but me that I'm not over me or more mini, what's the matter to be on meta? Why are you with you? What am I being a man? Am I See, we have to come to that point. And our father in our meeting was telling somebody, somebody said, Afa, the Afa was saying confidently, Whoa, hello, me about hello, me about one well. They are bo boasting on what they, what they don't have. And you, Christian, you are just looking. And instantly the guy sat up. Who is your spiritual parent? 
when you are putting up all the uh, one about me with nature, they can't talk to me in nature. If nobody can talk to you, you are gone already. There should be somebody that can call you by your first name, even irrespective of your age. I don't want this person to hear that I'm doing such a thing like this. And that person should hear and call you. That person should be able to call you. Abia, did I not call you my dickness? I called her. He says, that one has gone. We have conquered that. I called her. And the moment I called her, instantly she came. What happened? She told me everything. I said, let that thing stop. He says, sir, how do I tell him? I said, go and tell him that you will tell me. If you tell him, you will tell me, he will stop disturbing you. And that was the end. Because that last stage is the last stage of backsliding. A stage where you put up a nature that nobody... And I see some of you in our church now, you have put up that nature. As I'm talking to you now, some of you are here. You have, I see that nature in you. You come to church when you like. You don't care about the departments under your cares anymore. When we want to talk, you look as if, what, what do they want to say? If you don't change, see, you will follow. If you don't change, you will follow. I'm telling you, if you don't change, you will follow. And go and ask Job. The devil only operated in his family two days. The first day, he killed all his children and destroyed all his possession. The second day, he tampered with his health. Only two days, if the devil succeeds to bring you down, it, it won't take him one day. That's why I stay faithful in Christ. The Lord will help you. You will not fall. If you are falling, you are restored in this service. Rise up on your feet. Let's begin to pray. Say, Lord, uphold me. That sin will not move me from you. The devil will not succeed to use the wind of sin to push me away from you, O oh God. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. I want to hear you pray. Lord, help me. Father, help me, O God, that I will not fall. Sin will not take me from you, O God. Begin to rebuke the spirit of pride. Oh, yeah, begin to pray. You spirit of pride. Occupying my heart. Get out now. Get out now. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Legada base kele maskene. Regada baba base. Shagada ba. Ragada baskene. Are you praying? You are all the matters. You are all the matters. I say, I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all the matter. You are all the matter. Ooh, 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 ooh. You are all the matter. Ooh, 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 ooh. You are all the matter. Come down. I want to pray for you. Open your eyes. Next week, Sunday, I'll be teaching you on how to conquer the temptation of love of money. Upper one, we'll be looking at how to conquer the temptation of sexual sin. Now, all these things, you need to know it. You know what knowledge does? It empowers you ahead of time. So that when those things are coming, you smile. Once it call her. Because these are temptations that people face in life. Now, by the upper Sunday, we'll now be looking at virtues needed in order to stand firm in the presence of temptation. One of them that I wrote down is contentment. 
When I want to teach you on contentment, even me myself, I'll pray for you. I'll pray ahead of that day. You need to know it. You cannot have everything. Learn to understand what God has given to somebody else that he cannot give you. He gave Jesus to the family of Judah. He gave Moses to the family of Levi. Look at how God shared it. If you go deep down, you will see he gave wisdom. I want to try to remember that family. They are the ones that, that, that determine times in Israel and seasons. That's how God distributed it. He doesn't give everybody the same thing. People fall into temptation easily when they are not contented. Some of you have married your own wife. You are now saying, ah, she's not short. She's not fat. She's not slim. She's not light. I will teach you how to be contented. Let's close. Let's pray. Father, I pray for your sons and your daughters today. We don't want to be swept away by the wind of sin. Please help us, oh God. If there's any way we are falling and your spirit have departed from us, I call for restoration. Holy Spirit, come and take your rightful place in our hearts. Convince, convince us of the sins that we are used to committing. And deliver us from it in Jesus' name. I pray, O oh God, that today we are restored. The spirit of the devil shall no longer have a place in our lives in Jesus' name. Father, those that have gotten to the last stage, that they are now added pride to that backsliding. Nobody can talk to them. Father, please, in your mercy, Soften their hearts. I pray that you give them the dream, the vision that will give them the encounter that will make them open for spiritual growth again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we go into this week, we go into your favor. We go into your honor. We go into your blessing. We go into the wealth and riches you have prepared for us. Father, we pray that this anniversary of your resurrection will mark resurrection of good and glorious things in our various lives, homes and businesses in the name of Jesus. I pray that every good thing that is dead in your life begin to come back to life now in the name of Jesus. Every good relationship that is dying in your hands, I command them to come back to life now in the name of Jesus. Every good opportunity that is dead or dying, I command them to come back to life now in the name of Jesus. May the power of his resurrection reflect in every aspect of your life. So it is. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And amen. Do we have anybody coming for the first time?